have two packages, one from Foam Blast and one from Out of Darts. Let's open them up. Alrighty, so inside we had an Out of Darts sticker, a Foam Blast sticker, two switches, something to hold the switches, which is interesting because I use polysilicate, and this little thing where if you're using an ugly flywheel cage, this looks pretty cool. It essentially is like soldering for dummies. It makes it easier to do the motors, but if you have any cage worth looking at or soldering ability that isn't hideous, I don't think that this is necessary. Anyway, on to the topic. We could have made a video at lunch. We could have done a really good video talking about all of the specs of these motors and what have you, but instead, we're going to do about 30 seconds of talking about each motor in here, and then we're going to do what we actually do best, which is build something. So, uh, coming up first, uh, this is the Valkyrie motor. It has these custom uh, vents up in the top. It is just a pretty regular 3S option. It's not particularly expensive. It is a solid, solid offering for flywheel motors that can also be a pusher motor. I think if you want nine darts a second, this will give you that. So this is a 3S 130 style can. On one side it says out of darts, on the other side it says the, uh, or it has the Valkyrie logo designed by Adriana of Foam Blast or Addy of Foam Blast, AKA Cheese Whiz. Anyway, um, that is this offering. This offering is interesting. Again, there are stats for this, but instead we're just going to build something. And then now that we've talked about the Valkyrie, it's time to unleash the Kraken. So the Kraken is essentially, and you can see these come apart really easy. Uh, these are pretty serious, and that's because these are serious motors. So these are 3S versions of. I don't know, like they're essentially 3S versions of fangs, but uh, they are neodymium magnets, which means that they are a little bit stronger. Uh, they have ball bearings, which means that they're going to be a little quieter. I think they're centered, uh, but um, these are same thing, Kraken logo, also designed by Addy. Uh, Vince, custom exclusive to these motors, but as opposed to fangs, these are a 3S motor. Now, the reason that we designed fangs revamped in the way that we did is because I'm a big fan of 2S motors. The packs are smaller, they fit into more places, they can be just as robust. Uh, this is going to have a slightly faster spin-up time, I think, but you have to use a 3S battery. Pick your poison, I suppose. I think that they will also inherently draw more current, but I don't know that for a fact. So again, I could talk about them, and sometimes talking about them is enough, but I've yet to play with these. So the only way that we're going to actually get these and a real opinion on them is to take them and install them in some stuff. So since this is a collaboration between Foam Blast, Out of Darts, I think Foam Blast designed the motors, Out of Darts is retail. I think everybody's retailing them, but Out of Darts is like uh, the main distributor for them. But uh, also, since Containment Crew is one of the launch distributors, I figured why not get some containment cages in there. Let's build two totally custom blasters. Woo! All right, guys, so this video is crazy late and very overdue, but I wanted to finish it, and I'm doing my best I possibly can to finish it before I have to leave on my next work trip. So uh, this is Valkyrie. Um, the battery tray is not going to be orange. It's going to be printed in uh, filamentum gold matters, but uh, this is uh, it just had to get done. I guess is the best way to put it. So the Valkyrie is running on the Valkyrie motors and then the Kraken here is running on the Kraken motors. Now the Kraken has an actual LiPo in it. I only had one 3S that fit my tray and that's kind of the inherent issue with 3S is that 3S is big batteries and I like lower profile battery trays if at all possible, which is why the ones that I've designed uh, are kind of beveled in that way. They're really just designed to accommodate extra XT60 connector and wiring in the top here so that you can maximize the use of that battery tray for your LiPo cells. Now, uh, as far as performance goes, they're fine. Like these are absolutely fine motors. They hold up very well under load. I ran each of them for like an hour just under a battery to see like kind of sort of pseudo stress test the effects of like maybe a full day's nerf. Although I have not taken either of these blasters out to play with. They. are delivering the hits. In theory, there are certain performance advantages to going 3S. I actually have a whole suite of 2S batteries, which I may have said in the intro segment for this video. I don't necessarily remember if I did or not, but uh, 
I like 2S. It's great that there's now a domestic option of high quality 3S motors. So while the Kraken motors perform great at a slightly lower cost of entry, you have also 3S, the Valkyries. So I'm pretty sure that uh, out of darts is retailing these for eight and then these at four which puts them at half the price at half the price you get most of the performance although you don't get that sweet sweet neodymium spin up and spin down that means that these spin a little while longer at least on these builds for whatever reason and the performance isn't quite as high although it is still 3s performance <laughs> These are going to wind down slowly over time, but uh, overall a very solid motor in and of itself. And no shell cutting for either of these is ultra dope. So while I thought about doing a time-lapse build segment strife thing, and don't get me wrong, we're going to do a definitive one of those eventually. It just seemed really boring and very redactive to the point of this video, which was to jump in, talk about these motors, test these motors and builds, and then talk about the builds. So uh, what I did wind up doing is I built both of these blasters live on my Twitch. That's twitch.tv backslash vampire drack. And if you're ever interested in watching either like highly competitive like live streams of trading card games online or if you're into really bad Fortnite play or most importantly if you're into watching uh, super slick nerf builds come together in real time I do that on my twitch all the time by saying the word twitch uh, this video is automatically not going to get listed in YouTube suggested videos so uh, if you're watching it huge thank you for being a loyal subscriber smashing that bell button, getting that notification, and then liking my content because holy crap, YouTube hates it when you talk about Twitch. So I am actually super duper behind on my Patreon giveaways and I'm trying desperately to catch up before the end of the year because oh my goodness. Um, I'd like to catch up before the end of this month, but I am very, very behind. So both of these are going to be Patreon giveaway blasters. They've both been built out to the nines. They have full enamel paint jobs, 2K clear. They were taped off properly, sanded properly, and done up exactly correctly. I no longer take contract work, and I'm not a huge fan of selling my work on eBay, so these are well-deserved Patreon blasters, and they will be going out as soon as I can get back uh, on track with that when my travel hopefully slows down. But uh, thank you guys so very much for watching. If you're interested in either of these blasters, uh, my Patreon is always in the description box below. But uh, if you were just interested in whether or not these motors were hardy and up to the test, two thumbs way, way up from our leading dead guy. And I will see you guys next time. Much love, Nerf on Drek out.